Let's learn how to build uh, an hexagonal shelf using Rhino and with the same technique you could build um, a bunch of uh, different sort of objects. So one way of building things is to use the grid snap. So if you turn that on it means you would be snapping to the grid. So I could use that line. This is polyline if you have to type it. If you type line, it works, but it only draws one line, you see. If you type polyline, you would be able to draw more than one. So you see it snaps wherever I hit the grid. So it's a great little tool. Voila, now it's down. I can right click to start again and do a things like this. So now if I come in 3D, Control Shift E, I can select both and go extrude CRV, extrude curve. In version 6 you can also do it this way by dragging. The only thing when you drag, it gives you surfaces. So I actually don't use that much. So I prefer to go extrude CRV and make sure that solid is, it, solid is on. And then you get a solid for your object. So using that same technique, uh, actually here I won't be using um, the snap. But uh, I'll show you another way of doing it. You can type picture or picture frame if you're using version 5. And you can bring a drawing, uh, a PNG that would, should be transparent. Let's try that. I don't know why it's so black. There must be something wrong with my PNG because this usually works. You would see a transparency. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened here. Oh, maybe I drew it too small. Let's try this one instead. Voila. But yeah, if you have a PNG, then this would be transparent. So here, look, what we can do, it's uh, go polyline, start here, and if you hold shift, you'll be straight. So you could just do it like this. Shift again, voila, and click on the last point. So that's one way of starting it. The next one, you can actually start it by snapping if you really want to be precise. So I should have gone a bit lower, but you get the point. And now we don't really need the picture, so we can just delete this. I'll get rid of this one. Uh, we could fix it too. Uh, now what I can do, select this, type offset. And he wants to know which side to offset and how much. So here I've got 0.65. In my case, it's pretty good. Or you type and you go 0.7. And usually I would go inside here. Voila. So then we have those two. Finally, we select the two, extrude CRV, make sure both uh, solid is to set to yes, and voila. If we need to repeat, let me show you a new one. It's called array. Uh, we learn array, but this one is called array linear. And you just say how many copy? Six. And uh, first point, hold shift. Well, this is just the other one I show you is good. This only do one straight line, but it's very fast. So sometimes I prefer using. You don't have to enter X, Y, Z. Alt. And yeah, very fast you can build your shelf. Uh, something else I want to show. You can select the whole thing and go group. So now it's one block. See, sometimes it's easier to deal with this. 
and when you want to ungroup, you ungroup. What you can also do is sometimes hide two of them, you go hide, and when you want to see them, you go show. So this is some, uh, and last little object with uh, this type of things that we can use, it's, uh, there's a tool uh, called slab. And usually slab is used for floor plan, like this. I'm holding shift. We could track that one if the tracking is on, smart track. Here we go. So if you were doing a floor plan, you would bring the plan, uh, sorry, I'm doing something ugly. Uh, you would draw it, uh, bring it from AutoCAD as a DXF or from a Revit or even an AI file. And when you're done, uh, I, you can tell I drew it the wrong way. Whoops. I need the red. Voila. Uh, instead of offsetting an extrude curve, there's a very neat tool called Slab. And it does both at the same time. So you tell him inward and then your height. How much? So it's an offset. So we could actually use this for the shelf. Uh, I'm not going to bring again the drawing, but just to show you quickly, uh, we had something like this. Excuse the, if you wanted to fix this, you can grab that point and move it up a bit. So F10 also show the point, but in version 6, uh, they are on by default. Trying to select that point, it's giving me a hard time. Voila, so you see you could uh, move it, uh, but the best would be to snap or trace it, instead of uh, doing it the way I'm doing it. So Control shift e and here we could use the slab to do the exact same effect. Uh, S, L, A, B, you see? It's actually very fast if you think about it. Um, there's many ways you could draw that shape. Another way would be to do a box and make it quite square. I could have press shift. And uh, there you could, then you could go chamfer, edge. Anything with solids is edge. And here, if you give it uh, the right dimension, you could get the exact same effect. Because a, um, a chamfer is a 45 degree cut. You see? So that's another way, and then Boolean cut. Voila.